What does Emilio? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mosinigo keeps his circle close. I have tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions, but he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, si, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just. Uh, the doors. No. I wonder what. Suppose what could hide here. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves, and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia, the newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flat bootlicker. Need I go on? Why did you move? You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. I'm done. Hardly. You listen to me now. The merchant Medardo of San Polo close. has been found the guilty can of be recruited against the cause. cause. I'm sure. Just, I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have in great supply. Am I dreaming this? By <laughs> decree of the Council of Ten, all citizens wishing to enlarge their foreign cellars must first seek plan. Are you going to make a nuisance of yourself? Keep moving. Is it much further? Don't be such a little girl. Buongiorno, cousin. Signor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I am so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. And what does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? So I've heard. Good. Then perhaps he's made a decision. About what, cousin? About which of us shall step into the robes of the dog? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save the city. There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not think otherwise. Calma, calma, Amici, please. There's no need for this. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, you may not even choose a barbarigo. Oh. <laughs> why are you up here? Please, get And why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. 
Basta! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Yes! Signori, we should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard will find us. How much did you pay for it? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions, though he's not much of a conversationalist. Enough with your inane prattle! The choice of Doji was never up to any of you, and you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Doge Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio umilmente, maestro. <coughs> Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mochenigo. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, Maestro. When are you closest to him? I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but... He trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. Then I want you to infiltrate at the kitchen and poison his meal. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, Maestro. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some cantarella. <laughs> Yes, and what is that? It is a most effective form of arsenic, and difficult to trace. Ah, va bene, va bene. Then it's decided. Perhaps if we send you to the mines, go. Don't be an idiot. Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you, involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans? I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Patsy disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Patsy were a bunch of foolish... The Patsys were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe, who now haunts your city. For the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. Idiota sono. I should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made.
I have served dooms. Prince is king. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia. Their entire fleet in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. Business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this is surprising. Child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo... And Marco Barbarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary and whores. <coughs> With people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. Get away! We need to scout the palazzo carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. What do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side.
Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Let's go. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Keep away, filth! Huh? Assassino! You have come to the right. Tell your friends about has me. decreed that the manufacture of Fulci d'Artificio be controlled and subject to All who need aid are welcome here. <coughs> I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. Thank you. 
So, how does she work? Have you ever watched the bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. killing myself before I ever kill another Templar. I can't believe it! It worked! It really worked! You flew, Ezio! You flew! See, si, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look, let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this pezzo di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, che idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry. I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Some kind of colored powder they brought over for a big part. <laughs>
Come again, please.
my wounds, you know the health. Farewell, and recovery, Ami. Let's run fast! 